Hey guys, Chi Chi here. Welcome back to my channel, Chi Chi Lux. I am finally doing the long overdue Louis Vuitton collection video. I've been wanting to do this video literally since I started this channel and we're finally here. <laughs> So I'm going to be breaking this video down into two parts. The first one is of course my SLG collection and then we'll head over to the bags and the bag charms with mod shots because you know your girl is curvy so I want you to be able to see it on a full of figure. But we're all about SLGs right now so let's just hop on into it. Of course my first piece I don't have. <laughs> My first uh, SLG piece is the four key ring holder. I just don't have it with me right now. It was a pre-loved item. I think it might have been from the French company or uh, Neiman Marcus, was it Neiman Marcus? I forget. But it's one of those older pieces that have the tucky hardware to it. I really got into Louis Vuitton's history, but I, love that piece. I knew I really wanted to invest in SLGs when I had that piece because I lost it in the middle of a snowstorm. The fact that it was so durable, I was like, you know what, I'm sold. I'm going to start investing in SLGs. So that brings me to this guy. This is my six key ring holder in Damir Aben. Baby. This thing has been through the ringer. It's totally worth it because I can put a card in here, a little bit of cash, and I have all of my keys. Everything's just nicely in here. I always say go for this piece because it's just a workhorse for me. It's just one of those bomb pieces that I absolutely love. Let me talk about this piece before I forget I even have it, but this is the Essential V bracelet. This bracelet is bomb. I freaking love it. This is actually one of my highest viewed videos on my channel. And apparently a lot of you wanted to know about it and love it too. But I really do love this piece. It's one of those great starter pieces into costume jewelry. I know it is a lot of talk about costume jewelry, but I personally do like it. If you're gonna wear it a lot, it's worth it. And for me, I wear it a ton. Just now starting to show a little bit of wear to it, but the overall vibe of it is dope, it's cool. Listen, I'm, I'm still gonna rock it till the wheels fall off. I forgot to mention all of the pieces. For the most part, I have videos on. I will be linking them in the description box. And if you see anything that you want a review on, just let me know. Even a comparison, girl, I'm down for all of that. Let me know in the comment section what you want, what you got, what you need, okay? Cause I'm, I'll do it for you. Let me get this piece out the way cause she's still in my collection. This is the phone ring holder. This piece just really didn't work out for me. It's just, I don't know. I, I was lost in the hype of it all and I thought it was cute and it's still cute, but I just, I'm not a phone holder ring type of girl. So that's the reason why I haven't used it. I swear, I'm going to sell it. I am going to sell it. If you're looking for this piece, hit me up. There's a couple of pieces in my collection that I'm just like, girl, why do you still have this? And I really need to sell it. So that's honestly why I'm doing this video because there's other stuff that I want and can't be, can't be having this around. On to the piece that a lot of y'all just be like, girl, I'm gonna fight you over. <laughs> and that is my lipstick case. This is from the Rivets collection. I don't know how it got past a lot of y'all. I truly don't. You know what it is? Everybody was going after the uh, the pencil case that was like it because everyone was like, oh, you can put sunglasses in it and stuff like that. And she just creeped on by. Nobody saw it, but I saw it. I was like, ooh, 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 I need this. And it's just bomb. And look at that, look at that interior though. It keeps two lipsticks in here, so you know I be trying to stay pretty. <laughs> I love a good novelty piece. Things that are different, a little bit unique, a lot of people may not have. And this is one of those pieces. And I've gotten tons of wear out of it, so it wasn't 
too much money. I think it was like 250 when I purchased it. I actually purchased this off of a fellow YouTuber. I can't remember her name, but she was giving this up and I was like, baby, come home, come to mama. I'm happy that I do have it. It's, it's one of those pieces that <laughs> y'all be sweating me for. Y'all be sweating me, y'all know. Remember all the hype around this piece? This is the sunglass case in the MM size. I remember it was just a frenzy to get your hands on this. And I was just like, okay. I think I got this right before the hype really took off. I just keep random shit in here. Like the glasses that I have in here, they, they're not even worth it. The case is more than the things I put in here. So I don't use this a whole lot, but um, it's one of those pieces that's nice to have. I'm, I can't complain about it. And um, you don't see it too often. Kind of think I want to part ways with it only because I don't get a ton of use out of it. It's one of those unique pieces. So maybe I will keep it. I don't know, who knows. We have the medium six ring agenda. This piece I used to use a ton. But I kind of haven't been using it only because I've been using smaller bags, but I really should start using this again because I try to go digital. It really doesn't work for me. I commit things to memory more when I write it down, but I really do like this piece. But sometimes I wish that I didn't get it hot stamped because for some reason all of my pieces that I've gotten hot stamped, I kind of want to get rid of. And this is one of those pieces. I'm probably still going to keep it because I do like a good agenda. And now that I'm working on my channel a little bit more, I want to be able to write things down. So I as well use it while I got it because that's the whole point of this use it we have the ever elusive mini pochette <sighs> i don't know what's up with louis vuitton they make it so hard to find these pieces it's just freaking ridiculous when i first got this i didn't use it for a solid six months because i just didn't find the use for it i didn't find purpose for it and i was just like girl you don't need that like what's what's the point but then once I got it and actually started using it, it's been attached at the hip for me. So much so, I do have the Evasions mini pochette. Here was my plan, okay? I had this one first and never really used it. Once I saw this collection, I love the animation of it and I was like, ooh, child, I'm gonna start using this one. The day I decided I was going to, you know, sell this one, I spilled kombucha all on it, all on it. And I was like, well, can't sell this one. But now I'm at a place in my collection that I'm just like, I don't even reach for this. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I just don't use it because this is my workhorse now. This one I fling around, I, don't, I really don't care. And I know I'm gonna do the same with this. And I don't know, I just, I want it to be loved, just not by me. <laughs> also, it didn't have like pretty interior. It still had your basic brown. So I was like, you know what, you're wrong. You, you can get rid of this. So I might be selling this one. This is gonna turn into a, mm, I might sell this. <laughs> but follow me on Instagram, just in case, cause you never know how your girl is feeling. Few more hard to get LV pieces, the toiletry bags. This is the 15 and the 19. <sighs> Louis Vuitton, like, why y'all keep playing with our emotions? Like, y'all need to stop. But I believe I got this one first. I got this off of a seller who lived in Jersey City, I remember. She said it smelled like candy. Like, she would keep her daughter's stuff in there. And it legit smelled like candy for a couple of weeks. And I was just like, ooh, that smells so lovely. And then, this girl, so hard to get. How did I get this? Ended up buying it pre-loved for not that much more and then two weeks later or maybe a week later the store called me and said hey we have one for you see see these games they be playing both pieces I'm very happy with I normally keep makeup in this one and then I 
keep toiletries in this one when I go and travel. Both of them I'm really happy and satisfied with. I don't ever think about getting the 26. I know a lot of people use the 26 as a clutch and that's just not my vibe. And these two just work perfectly in my collection. So I have no need for a trifecta, but this is as close to a trifecta that I have in my collection. I normally don't do that, but if it's pieces that I'll use for different reasons, I I'll invest in it. Can we take it back to that good YouTube? Ah, oh, those were the days and oh, multicolor was king. When Louis Vuitton was like, hey, we're getting rid of this line, it was a frenzy. Everyone was trying to get their hands on some sort of multicolor piece. This is the Cosmetic PM bag in the noir color. I can't remember the name of the pink interior, but it is pink, <laughs> even though I don't love pink. I keep a lot of liquid lipsticks in here. This, this is what's just in it, but I really do love this piece. I don't take it out as much as I once did, but it's in fabulous condition. The only thing, I do have a watermark on it. How the hell that got there? Girl, I don't know. But she's there. We're not gonna discuss that. Y'all know I'm all about feels, and this feels good when I have it in my hand. I don't have much chipping. It still looks brand spanking new, in my opinion. I just think back to the good YouTube days when it was just such a small community and everybody was just really showing information and showing you how to wear things and telling you about uh, how to get it and how to care for it. The, like that was just such a time. That's when I really fell in love with the Lux community when it was just really tight knit. It still is. I, I love a lot of y'all, okay? Y'all, y'all my peoples. But just to see how far it's come just wow like wow like we have people with over a hundred thousand subscribers like <laughs> that's crazy girl I'm still trying to get to a thousand <laughs> and I've been on here for like three years <laughs> it's cool it's not about the numbers for me girl we have the trust 28 I got this from my girl Joanna Lopez here on YouTube this piece has all my crap in it. This is my bigger toiletry bag and I love it. I love it. It is pretty vintage. I have the old school like made in France type of tags. I remember on her listing she said it, it does have a smell and I was like what kind of smell? Like she was like it smells like older like vintage and I was like oh girl I need that. I need it immediately. And it still has that smell. It's, <laughs> I love the smell of the, like the older pieces. It just, she has a story and that's what I love about it. And she's in great condition. And I love that I can kind of beat her up. Y'all know I, I use my pieces. Like if I'm paying this much money for it, I like to use it. So I'm smushing and doing all that, whatever. I've never carried it as, I just saw that in the monitor, hold on. Never carried it as a, a clutch or anything. I probably still would never. Something I travel with all the time, if I have, I'm going overnight or if I'm going on vacation, which I haven't been because Rona, because people, not even, it's not even Rona's fault. People can't put the mask on, but that's a whole nother story. But I really do dig this piece. I'm so happy that she found this and then I found it. Let's get into the wallets and things like that. So first up we have the round coin purse. This is from the Cherries or Cerise collection by Takashi Murakami. How adorable is this? How freaking cute is she? I do use this and surprisingly enough, I just, well, I just emptied out my coin purse but I always like to keep a little change in there because I never like to keep my wallets or change purses without any sort of money. But I use it for coins as intended. I know people put 
um, medicine in here or ear pods and is it ear pods, earbuds? I don't know. Headphones. I'm old school. Headphones. It does have the key ring on it. So essentially I could put my keys on here. I could even use this as a bag charm to be honest because it has this key ring. I've never put my keys on here. I just tuck this into the actual pouch and just let it live there. But this is just such a fun piece. And this is what I'm talking about. I like the funness of it and the uniqueness of my pieces because you're not gonna see freaking cherries around too much. And just the attention to detail that the fact that, you know, the interior is red, it's dirty, but it's red. And then the stitching is red. It's just, ah. Bring back Mark. Mark, come on home. We need you. We need you, Mark. All right, these pieces are the ones that <clears throat> y'all ooh, ooh, so hard to get so hard to get this is the coin card holders from the men's side of the fence this is in the color jean which translates to yellow and when this came out this was actually just called blue but i believe they call this lagoon now yeah because when i got this piece i was literally one of the first people to have it here on youtube so it had just released so i think they just named it blue but freaking love this i was introduced to this piece by cassie chris obv or obvi see i got it right now but <laughs> this piece i mean so good so good i just love these pieces to death they're so functional they have been working as my main wallet because they're just that bomb and look at these colors like I have access to two other colors but I kind of feel like these are like Pokemon like I, I gotta catch them all so I hope they just come out with more colors and the fact that these have silver hardware I don't even mind I'm a gold cyber girl but this silver I will make an exception for for the color because y'all know how I feel about a lot of pieces from the women's collection 50 shades of pink all the time and look at this two different colors hmm. we're not gonna go into that we're gonna move right along keeping with the card holder theme I have these two beauties this is the pocket organizer from the Gaston labels collection and this one is from the upside down monogram ink collection by way of my girl Rochelle also here on YouTube these pieces are from the men's line see men be killing it but freaking love it it's so functional i freaking love it and look at this this have a vuitton day i freaking love but these pieces are just so beautiful look at that pop look at the interior this is why i shop over at the men's section because look at this heat pure heat first of all stylistically they're just super dope and then functionality wise i mean come on come on and i've just been having a freaking ball i'm trying my hardest not to treat this like pokemon too because there aren't a ton from previous collections that i do want but but if they keep moving the way they keep moving You know, I ain't even going to complete my sentence. Y'all already know. Oh, my little girl has been so neglected. This is the Zippy Coin purse from the multicolor line, Takashi Murakami. And she just does not get a lot of shine. However, I fully 100% credit this wallet to starting my journey to using smaller wallets. This was the wallet that really did it for me. I was a completely a huge wallet type of girl. You'll see some of the bigger wallets that I do have, but this wallet was just such a downsized piece for me. And I was like, oh girl, like, how am I really gonna use it? And I actually did use it and I did love it. The only reason why I don't really carry it as much is because you gotta fold your cash and it clips right here 
So sometimes, not all the time, sometimes, but I know now I'm not a zip wallet kind of girl at all. So the fact that this is a zip wallet, I'm just like, eh, okay. But it's just such a cute little little piece. Like it, it does feel good in the hand. And the part that really stuck out for me is the card holders. Clipping it, mm -mm, that's why I don't like the rounds. So, uh, we'll, we'll see how how this goes. Had it not been for the, the Zippy Coin purse, I would have never gotten the Emily wallet. Ah, oh, man, this wallet by far is my favorite long wallet. I would have never got it because it only had four card slots and at the time I was just like girl like what are you gonna do with four card like what what are we doing over here you want to carry around 16 cards I was a crazy person back then but <laughs> had it not been for that zippy coin purse and me really downsizing my wallet I would have never picked this up and I enjoy this piece so much this is the newer style of the Emily. If y'all like OG OG YouTube watchers, comment that down below if you remember the old style Emily wallets. But this was the newer one. I think this they had might have just came out with it. This wallet really surprised me because see y'all know I carry the round coin purse so I keep all my coins in there. So this coin compartment or zippered compartment where your coins would go, I started putting my rewards cards, extra credit cards in there. And that just made this wallet so much better and so much more functional for my lifestyle. She is just a workhorse. I remember when I got this, I was so in love. It still feels good in my hand. I haven't broke her out in quite some time because y'all know I've been on my card holder kick. But she's just one of those really familiar pieces that I like to grab and just feel feel good about it. When I want to feel like an adult <laughs> or I carry a really big bag, she she's a rider. She she is. And surprisingly enough, my button hasn't really chipped. It's got a, a little wear on it, but it hasn't chip chipped. So Emily yeah also this was the first time I had a really amazing experience at Louis Vuitton I will never forget that sales associate he was just a young little vibrant thing and I was just taken care of I didn't go to Short Hills Short Hills they really don't like me they, they just don't I've only recently had a good experience in Short Hills I went up to uh, Garden State Plaza that's where I got this one and just the entire team treated me so nice. Compact Zippy Wallet, Damia Aben, old interior. You see that flat lay? That flat lay? Girl, what a time. What a freaking time. Honestly, it's my love-hate relationship. Like out of all of the wallets, definitely my most loved and hated piece like we we have a complicated relationship at the time love this piece i love the flat leg style why they changed it i have no idea because this was perfect just being able to get the cards out because you weren't clipping the zipper the thing about this and this is my hate part of it the cash compartment is so deep my pockets ain't even that deep <laughs> this cash compartment goes all the way down here so trying to put your money in was a bit of a a, a production you're you're like oh let me oh okay and then your bills will end up something like this and then when you go to zip it your cap y'all know I'm, I'm all about functionality and this one it just grinded my gears a little bit and then when my cell phone was a little petite petite I would throw her right in the center 
I'd zip her up and I'd just be on my merry freaking way. I think this is my only Damir Abin wallet to match a couple of my Damir Abin um, bags. So that's why she's still around. But I don't know. I haven't used her for a good solid two years. I'll be honest with you. I have not used it because I just, I know what I'm in for. <laughs> when I grab for this. I try to be conscious of it, but I do carry less, so I should just break her out, you know, from time to time. I just have really good memories with this, just toting around and yeah. And she's still in great condition. Like, look at her. Look at her. She ain't, she's aging. See? Black don't crack. <laughs> Give it up for the queen mother, the Victorine wallet. This is in the monogram Verni in the color Cerise the cherry 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 and this is just my end all be all for wallets this is everything i could have asked for in a wallet this is my favorite wallet like my car holders are giving it a little bit of run for a month it's money but she's still the number one stunner because i have six card holders i have a slot for my cash and it lays flat no lie this part is kind of like the card holder like it's basically the pocket organizer this prepared me for this now that i'm thinking about it it truly did this is so scrum deli oh my god this red this red and i'm not a huge monogram verneve type person but once I saw this red shade, I was like, it's over. It's over for y'all. The reason why I fell in love with this is because it gave me everything that I needed in a full-size wallet in a compact size. Period. That's it. And I was just able to put so many things. Like, I have a zipped compartment that I could put more cards in. Like, what more do you want? More do would I ask for the only thing if I could tweak it if I could tweak it just a little bit I would add a pocket on the back if this had a pocket whoo child like see how this has a pocket if they would have put a pocket back here it would have been over it would have been over game over all the wallets can exit stage right and be done find a different profession but hands down hands down my favorite wallet of all time you're you're the goat you are the goat and finally we have the original thickums with all the body yaddy 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 this is the sarah wallet from the multicolor line this is the blanc or white and this is eglatine eglatine something like that yeah i know this is the old style Sarah, so it doesn't have the pocket on the back and it does not have the additional card slots on this part of the wallet but everything else she she good this wallet was my first big girl wallet this was my first like really 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 big expensive wallet and i used her a, a good amount of time and she still looks good she really does for her age i don't have any cracked glaze glaze still intact button has a tiny bit of wear right in the center and all the colors are intact sarah is one of those huge wallets that you can put your life into if you're someone who keeps a bunch of cards a bunch of cash receipts even though i don't keep receipts in my mm -mm, that's bad juju that that represents money leaving your wallet don't keep your receipts in the wallet bad juju if you are someone who carries a lot perfect perfect wallet because there's tons of card holders there's tons of like just space in here and i think that's its downfall as well because this is such a huge wallet it, you see that accordion right there? <laughs> She's a big girl. But I do love it and I was so in love with this wallet because 
it, this was like the last call for the multicolor. As soon as that announcement dropped, I ended up picking this up. This is probably one of my impulse purchases. And I was so excited because I actually got the navy blue LV above the button. That was a whole big thing here. It was like, what color did you have above the button? It was like, oh, I got hot pink. Oh, I got the sky blue. Oh, I got the purple. That was everyone's like trying to get like, oh, I got to get it that way. In mine, of course, had my favorite color, which is blue. And it, it was so, such a time. The only beef I had with this wallet when I first got it, and I will say it to this day, is that my card holder, my card slots were already curled before I even got this piece. And I was I was a little upset as I should be and I should have returned it but the way I know the wallets now to be that's normal wear and tear at this point but she still look good. Stay tuned to part two of my collection video with all the bag charms and the bags with the mod shots. I'm gonna put it right here if it's already up loaded and ready to go but if you early you a real one so just make sure you subscribe so you get that notification when part two does come up but in the meantime check out some of the videos and i will catch you in the next one bye